Eternity PE is designed for small and growing organizations. It is available in three variants. Eternity PE 6SP, Eternity PE 3SP and Eternity PE 3SS. Now let me show you the hardware architecture of all the mentioned models. The enclosure of Eternity PE consists of a top plate which functions as the cover and can be removed. Let us open the Eternity PE 6SP first. The power supply unit and the CPU are inbuilt and fixed on the bottom plate of the Eternity PE. The CPU manages the entire system and controls all other cards. All configuration and programming information is stored on this card. On the CPU of Eternity PE 6SP is Jumper J13 which is used to reset the system engineer password. Eternity PE 6SP has 6 universal slots and 48 user ports and it has 2 row connectors mounted on the CPU facing up. The cards are seated on the universal slots on the CPU and secured with screws on the 3 studs provided on the bottom cover. Now let us see the back panel of the Eternity PE 6SP. The back panel of Eternity 6SP consists of a power supply socket, a fuse and a power on off switch. This is an Ethernet port. It is meant for connecting Eternity PE to a PC or to a LAN to operate the web based programming software. Among the other functions of the Ethernet port are taking system debug report, capturing station message detail record, capturing system activity logs, system fault logs, hotel motel activity log, running the property management software and call accounting software in the hotel application of Eternity. The USB port is provided for future function interface. This is a communication port more commonly known as COM port. The COM port is meant for connecting a PC to the Eternity PE to capture station message detail records, system activity log, system fault log, hotel reports to install and operate property management software and call accounting software. It can also be used for programming the system using hyperterminal. The analog input port handles unamplified, isolated analog speed signals. It is used for connecting an external music source which may be any audio output like a PC, a CD player or a cassette player. The analog output port outputs unamplified, isolated analog speed signals which can be amplified by an external amplifier connected to the port. The port is meant for connecting a public address system or a paging system device. The CPU has two dual color LEDs labeled L1 and L2. They indicate in the colors green and orange. L1 indicates the health of the card during the normal functioning of the system. L2 indicates the health of the card during the power cycle. After power on, when the system becomes ready, L1 blinks green for a second on and off, while L2 glows orange continuously. These are the Eternity 3 SP and Eternity 3 SS models. The internal architecture of these models is same. The CPU manages the entire system and controls all other cards. All configuration and programming information is stored on this card. On the CPU of Eternity PE 3 SP and 3 SS is Jumper J10 which is used to reset the system engineer password. The Eternity 3 SP and Eternity 3 SS models have 3 universal slots and 24 user ports. It has 2 row connectors mounted on the CPU facing up. The cards are seated on the 3 universal slots on the CPU and secured with screws on the 3 studs provided on the bottom cover. Now let us see the back panel of Eternity PE 3 SP and 3 SS. They are slightly different from each other. The back panel of Eternity 3 SP consists of a power supply socket, a fuse and a power on off switch. This is an analog input port 
an analog output port, a communication port, a USB port, two status LEDs, and an Ethernet port. Whereas the back panel of the Eternity PE 3SS consists of a power socket, a fuse, power on off switch, LEDs, and an Ethernet port. For your better understanding, you can refer to this back panel comparison chart of all the Eternity PE variants. So, this was all about the hardware architecture of all the PE models. Next, I am going to show you all the Eternity PE cards in details with its available combination.